Hello you guys and welcome to the new vlog. Oh lord. Um, I'm gonna be sharing my outfits of the week kind of like what I used to do before. I'm back. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent. It's a little hard but anyways I digress. This is today's look. I am wearing this top from ASOS. I love this really cool cool shoulder detail but only on one side um, and then I'm wearing an ASOS bag and these pants from Target which you guys have seen. Um, you guys were there when I bought it pretty much. And then these shoes from ASOS, they're, they're Puma, but I got them at ASOS. Here's a look. Okay, so I just had a meeting with Liesl, um, and hopefully it goes well. If everything goes well, you guys will be knowing about it soon. Um, right now I'm heading to Buffalo Exchange to sell some clothes and then to also donate some stuff um, just to make sure that I don't have you know things just lying around in my apartment that someone could be using and wearing so that's what today is about we're just running errands and then we're gonna head back home and do some vegan spaghetti meatballs or something like that and they'll bring you along of course no one told me that when you move out you have to actually be an adult I'm tired. I don't want to wash these dishes, but I still have to make dinner. So I guess I'll wash these dishes and I'll show you what I'm making for dinner, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna. <laughs> I started you guys. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm preparing my little uh, vegan meatballs. Um, I just like to eat vegan food here and there cause to me it tastes good. And I've never tried these before. So I'm really excited to give these a try. So the way I'm gonna prepare them is the way they were actual meatballs. So I'm just gonna, you know, put it in the pot um let them like fry a little bit and then um yeah and then i'm gonna add the sauce and then mix it all together i'm not a chef obviously so i'll show you the final product i guess i just wanted to update you guys i just added a whole bunch of cheese in the meatballs um and now i'm just waiting for the spaghetti to cook now we're watching cheers i just heard that it was doing that it's actually a really good show so i'm excited to see it um we still just texted me Wanted to check in on my look. This is, ooh, is the lens a little dirty? Hold on. There we go, it's not foggy anymore. Still wearing this look. Manolo's right there. Me and the cutie. You just mean the cutie, what a cutie pie. All right, let's go have dinner. She a chef or whatever, you guys. I'm out here making spaghetti. So it's no secret that I'm not a chef, so I don't know when the spaghetti is like actually done. I was taught that if you throw the noodle against the actual um, wall, it'll, um, it means it's cooked. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh, it's cooked, bitch. I think, maybe. Like two more minutes, maybe. Or maybe it's cooked. How do you know when it's cooked? There she is, you guys. There she is. Como dicen en mi país, ya te puedes casar, mija. All right, let's give it a taste test. I'm actually a little scared. Every single time I cook, I get a little scared. Um, mm, mm. My chef? After all that work, I went out and bought the ingredients. It's all good. It tastes really good. Um, and I just remember, I didn't even like spaghetti like that. Oh my God, I'm stained. Welcome to day two of my outfits, you guys. This is today's look. Well, let me show you. It's literally gone dark and I just started vlogging. I really didn't do much today. I have been just sitting down in my computer um, working and um, that's pretty much it. But I still wanted to get dressed for you guys to show you my outfit. Um, so this top is from ASOS. It's a crop top. These pants are from Navabi. These were a collection that my friend Daniel Veneer did with them. And then this bag I got yesterday when I went to, um, what's it called? Buffalo Exchange um, to sell a couple things. And I saw this. It was $34, so I just got it. Um, these sunglasses are sunglasses. These sunglasses are from Poppy Liss Lissiman. And these birds are from Rainbow. And this is today's look. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite so far? I really, oh, and the shoes, of course, I um, almost forgot. These are from Anthro. They're very comfortable. You know, I love a thick heel. So yeah, this is today's look. 
Probably not gonna do much today, guys. I'm probably just gonna order food because I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> and, um, and then going to continue doing some work. But I just wanted to share the look today. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is today's look, you guys. Last night it snowed really bad, so I'm trying to keep nice and warm. So I decided to wear this jumpsuit from ASOS. Um, it's really old, so it's not available online anymore, but I'll find some cute dupes and I'll link it down be uh, below. This white bag, you guys have seen for years now. It's from Forever 21. And then I have my Doug Martens because we're not trying to slip and die. Um, I'm going to head over right now to Lisa to record the podcast. Then we're going to have a pretty chill day, but just wanted to share today's look. And I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, guys, so now I'm at Liesl's, and we've actually just been watching The Circle. We haven't even started recording. I just remembered. Um, but it's so good. Um, and now Liesl is showing me the other day she was messaging me because she was telling me that she was making, she was making fucking soap, bro. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? How cool is this? She made this. Like, she made this with her hands. Look at this other one. How pretty. Wait, let's show them the other ones. Yeah. His like layers. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? How did was this hard to make? No, it's really easy. You just literally like you buy the soap base and you um microwave it and then you add the fragrance and the colors. This oh one is my like on Look at yeah. that. This almost looks like a natural stone. Yeah. Did you carve it like this? Or oh, no, that was the mold. Oh, it comes yeah. in mold. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Yeah, this is my first time. And, like, so you get different soap bases. Like, the one that's more opaque is actually goat's milk. And <laughs> goat's milk? <laughs> yeah. And then, like, the one that's more clear is just, like, regular glycerin soap. Oh, but my God. How many did you make? We made a lot. I think um, we, me and Quinn each made like six soaps a piece. Whoa. Yeah. It was so it was much fun. So pretty. I actually used um, a cookie cutter to do the little stars. How did you do that though? Um. Okay. So I did a whole bunch of, like I wanted to do a whole bunch of really colorful. So I mixed the soap, I colored it, and then I just poured it on a cookie sheet and got it really thin. And then I cut out like the stars, and then I actually by hand cut out all the little squares and all the different colors. What? <laughs> it was You're... so much fun. Do you like the smells? They actually smell so good. What the heck? Do they all smell oh, I different? Did this one too. I forgot about this one. Oh, this one's so refreshing. This one right here. Ooh. Oh my god, this one smells so romantic. Is this like roses or something? This one? I can't remember. Because it smells like roses. <laughs> I can't remember which scents I used, but. Oh that one's my mostly god. goat smoke. This, wait, goat smoke smells like really good. Goat smoke is really sweet too. Yeah. I drank that before. These are Quinn's. Quinn's are. Whoa. These Quince are better. Is, Quinn, wait, Quinn. His first ones were ugly. Wait, Quinn actually fucking layered this shit up. Yeah, look at how many layers this has. What? <laughs> Y'all are. He took forever. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. You know that you can so make those fun. videos those kids like that where they start chopping up the soap? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes some money, girl. <laughs> That's so cool. They're beautiful. Thank you. It was so <laughs> fun. All right, we're going back to the show and we're going to record soon. <laughs> like, I let her try and she was like, oh my god, she bought it. Like, she was like, I'm Liesl just changed my life with this little massage tool. What's it called? Theragun. It's called a Theragun. So, look, you guys, you won't be able to hear me talk, but it literally just gives you the hardest massage in the world. And I just put it in the bottom of my feet. Let me show you. Oh, this is the best feeling in the world. Because I always want, like, a foot massage. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. But here's the thing. It costs $600. <laughs> Should I get this? Let me know in the comment section below, you guys. And if you guys know of a good one that you guys personally use, let me know. I want to, you know, get the best one. But this one's really good. This one's yeah, really, this one's, really so good. It's, like, it's scientifically proven. 
like with the the amount of pressure and the amount of hits yeah um it's scientifically proven to be the most effective which the the specs of this one but they have several different models <laughs> they have some cheaper models but this one is the best because it has the two speeds and it also comes with two batteries so the battery, okay do you charge this on the wall or is it like no, a no, double a it, battery it comes with a battery oh it's how like do you put like it looks like a gun. Yeah. So, like, do you charge this? Yes, you, it okay. has a little thing, and it comes with two. The the most expensive one comes with two batteries, so it literally never runs out of battery. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get this. So you just once once this dies, I just pop it on the um. And look, this is all of the different attachments. Edge, smaller oh, wow. dampener. This is called the thumb. Look at this one. I've actually Whoa. never used this one. That looks painful. Because <laughs> yeah, it looks painful, but yeah. Attachments. I'm feeling much better. It is Monday morning, you guys, um, and I'm just going to head out to get my mom, pick her up so we can go get massages and probably have some breakfast or lunch, whatever we have time for today. Um, so I just want to share my look. Of course, this ASOS code, which everyone always asks about, but it's literally sold out. I can't find it anymore. If I find it, I'll link it. If not, I'll find some dupes. Um, and then I have this sweatshirt from... Um, Fabletics and then my leggings from Fabletics and then I have these boots from Doc Martens my backpack just as yesterday Showing just quick little clips of my outfit. Hopefully works as inspiration. Let me know if you guys want to see a little bit more of my day um, Yesterday As you guys saw I hanged out with Lisa and now today I'm gonna hang out with my mom Let me know if you guys want to see a little bit more of my day. I don't know. Anyways, I'm hanging out with my mom today. Bye this is Today's outfit you guys I am wearing this dress from ASOS again wearing the back from um, Buffalo Exchange, these boots from ASOS as well. And um, yeah, this is today's look. Today I went to meet with a real essence um, for a really fun class about ASMR. We also did an ASMR video, which if it's done by now, I'll, in I'll clip it in now. Um, if not, you guys can go to my Instagram and wait for it there. I just wanted to share today's dress. It's actually a dress that I've been dying to wear for a minute. I think I have it in the size 24 because you see how this little hem is a little tight. I wanted to make sure that it was going to be comfortable if I was sitting down um, or moving around. So yeah, this is Titty's look. Okay, ready. Am I ready to go? Yeah, Sorry. Okay. for the first time. I just felt the tingles today for the first time, so now I want to give it to you. Let's tingle together. Um, I think the first thing that I want to do is play with the bottle, the Iralescence Potential Aloe Plus Hemp, because it smells really good. smells so fruity and clean. Like smell. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear that? Sorry. Amazing. So I have some eucalyptus here for you guys. Let's see. 
Let's hear it. <laughs> Hello you guys and welcome to today's look. Um, I'm wearing mostly Eloqui and ASOS, so the boots, ASOS, the skirt is Eloqui, this turtleneck crop top is from Eloqui as well, the jacket is ASOS, bag is ASOS, headband is um, Amazon, and then my sunglasses are Poppy Lisman. Um, this is kind of today's look. I'm rushing real quick because I'm gonna take Manolo to the vet. He actually had a seizure last night. It was really freaking scary. Um, so we're gonna go make sure that he's all right. Hopefully he just like heated up or something and it's not anything too serious. Um, but I'm gonna head out and I'll try and bring you along. We're also gonna be meeting Sean today. If you guys have seen The Circle, the Netflix show, then um, you guys know who I'm talking about. We're gonna go meet her today and interview for the podcast. So if you guys are interested, make sure that you listen to the last episode of the podcast for this third season. Trying my best to not wear the same black bag that I got from um, from <laughs> from Buffalo Exchange, but it's getting really hard not to. Everything goes with it. Um, today I have a meeting with a really cool brand. Um, I really really hope everything goes well. So please pray for me. It'll be a really cool fun experience. Um, but before I head out, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So here we go. Since I'm going to a business meeting, I wanted to be a little more professional today and I wanted to wear this blazer dress. Um, the boots, let's start from the bottom. The boots are from ASOS. These are really just right for my size foot. Um, the calf, I'm trying to say. <laughs> and the bag, of course, um, Buffalo Exchange. This dress is actually from Eloqui. The belt is from Eloqui as well. And, oh, someone's in a rush. <laughs> Oh, baby, what happened? Manolo, what happened, my baby? You're killing your boy? Oh, why are you choking? Why are you choking, baby? Relax. He's fine. He was just drinking water way too fast. He does that all the time. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys today's look. I'm going to bring you along. I'm actually working on a really fun video where I dress like a celebrity for a week. Um, I'm not going to tell you who. I want you guys to see it um, in the video. So... I'm just showing today's look. Let's head out because we're going to be late to this um, business meeting. And again, pray for me. Hopefully everything goes well. It's a quick turnaround. So if everything goes well, you guys will see it really, really soon. Um, I'll probably make a whole video of the entire process. But anyways, let's go. Currently 7 p.m. Um, I have to go to an event with Brassy Bra and I wanted to bring you guys along. Um, and then after that, I'm going to a fashion show with Liesl. Liesl is having her designs shown at an event here that's going to benefit um, trans black women and women of color in general that are trans. Um, all the proceeds, I believe, are going to that. Um, so I'm going to go and, you know, support her and go support the charity and the cause. 
and I just want to show you guys my look for today. Um, it's all going to be a bit of like follow me and like show you what I'm wearing. Um, this is what I have so far. So this is today's look. I have this jumpsuit from Eloquy that's belted, um, my coat from ASOS. It's actually raining outside, so pray for me. Um, and also my little pearl little barrette. I don't know if I want it on or if I want it off. What do you guys think? I think, oh, I kind of like it off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not do it. I'm gonna take it just in case. I feel like, oh, my hair is getting crazy because of the rain. Um, but yeah. I also wanted to talk and see like, if there's other people like me out there, I actually have really bad um, social anxiety. And like, I get really nervous when, sorry, I'm turning off the lights around my house. I get really nervous and anxious. Also, this lens is dirty, I think. I get really anxious um, going to night events. Night events are my least favorite. It's the time of the day that I hate to socialize. I always feel so much pressure. I don't know why night events give me more pressure. So this for me means a lot to go. Um, I'm doing it for my friends and yeah, <laughs> I hope I don't have a panic attack, but I mean, I'm I know I won't, but yeah, it just, I'm a little anxious. I think you can tell by the way I'm talking, I'm a little anxious about this, but let's go and let's go have a good time. And yeah, I'll bring you along. Okay, so we're here, the event is right over there at Plus, Plus Brooklyn. With you guys, I made a video on that location. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to see it. I did like try on haul, and it was like a place I discovered accidentally. All right, I think we can cross the street. Ah, I don't want to get hit. I'm all the way in Brooklyn. He's gonna try and. Okay, he stopped. I think he was gonna try and kill me. Let's do this. Here we go. Alright guys, so I'm here in Plus Brooklyn, and they moved to a new place, there's a lot of beautiful women here, just looking around, some friends are around, and yeah, hi friends, and then we got a nice little goodie bag, I think it's brassy overall, so I'm excited for that. It's $20 on Amazon. You guys, we're talking about ghosts. That's what I always want to talk about. All right. And she was like, oh, there's a ghost. It's a female. There's a female ghost in Plus Brooklyn, you guys. Well, she's supposed to be a good ghost. Yeah. And she loves... I don't have any negative energy with her at all. She loves women, but she apparently does not like men. She doesn't like men. That's like Manolo. My, my dog is dead. We have a ghost that lives here in Plus Brooklyn. And I have a, I've seen a few little glimpses of the ghost. But the only reason I know about the ghost is because the woman who owned the store before Plus Brooklyn, she told me after I signed the lease. So literally, we are here. What? I had just signed the lease with the landlord. The landlord leaves, and I'm like, I'm so excited. And she's like, she said, no, she said, you have a residence that you should Like a rat or something. Um, okay, you guys. So I just left the Plus Brooklyn event with Brassy Bra. I actually was gifted one one set of the Brassy Bra, but I also bought two more because that's how much I love it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and if you guys don't know about the Brassy Bra, I'm gonna link it down below because I did a whole video on that. And right now we're going to Liesel's event, and there's gonna be you guys, it's a fashion show, but then there's also gonna be some wrestling after, so I'm very excited. It looks really dark, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film, but if not, I'll tell you all about it in a bit. Wait a minute. I know Brooklyn can make a little bit more noise than that during New York's Fashion Week. Are you ready? <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you already know, I am the Grand Master of Ceremonies, Larry Legend. <laughs> and we're here for such a great cause. All of the proceeds from this event go to benefit trans women of color collective. Give it up one more time for such a great organization. And we're all so glad that you can be here with us tonight. But
the scooter. He ran his balls over the scooter. Oh, uh, the so match funny. is not over. Finishing my work really late. I also had to shower because I smell like wet dog. Um, my sister Tatiana is here. <laughs> um, we're waiting for Jason, then we're gonna go eat. I'm just wearing my Fabletics outfit. You guys, I'm wearing the crop of Fabletics shirt that you guys saw. Thank you. You guys saw in my last video. And then some black leggings that I got a while ago. Or no, I think I got them in the last one as well. I just mixed and matched them. And my hair is wet, so I'm letting it air dry. I don't want to put any heat on it because it's pretty, pretty damaged actually. <laughs> all right, guys, we're all ready to go. Manolo's coming too for dinner with us. Um, the kids are there. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Jason. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're here, and it's the first time that I've ever seen it this pack. It took us actually a minute for us to get our table, but Manolo is nice and chill. <laughs> And then I'll show you guys what we got for food. This is the chicken, guys, that I ordered. Jason got some fried rice. And then I got fried rice, too. And Manolo's just there chilling. How are Jason sausage? Alright, so then listen. Would you rather eat a baby goat or a matter baby? A horse baby? A baby goat or a matter baby? It's a matter baby. <laughs> Not much chicken with a matter baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's <laughs> I literally did not do anything today. All I did was lie around and binge watch The Messiah. So if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it so we can talk about it. Um, I just want to show you my outfit for tonight. I'm going out to celebrate a surprise birthday party for my significant other. Um, they don't know that it's happening. So anyways, <laughs> I was freaking out because like going out at night, like I, that's like my kryptonite. Like I don't know what to ever wear. Um, but whatever, this is what I'm wearing. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this top is from ASOS. The back is from ASOS. These bottoms are for Target. These Puma sneakers I got via ASOS. And that's today's look. Also, why do you kids party so late? This starts at 11. I want to be home. Anyways, let's go celebrate. <laughs> the things that I keep buying to be able to carry Manolo with me everywhere is ridiculous and is finally paying off, you guys. I finally found a good backpack to carry him around. So this is literally built for like puppies um, to be able to carry them with you. I'm still trying to figure out how it goes on on me, but so far so good. He seems nice and secure. He's a little nervous about it, but let's go. We gotta go run errands. Um, I'm prepping for a video where I'm dressing like a celebrity for a week and I need to take some pieces to the tailor because I don't want to sew. So, let's go. Guys, I can even carry him around like a purse. <laughs> let's go. And if for some reason you don't want him all up in your face, you can just carry him like a backpack. Okay guys, so I wanted to share with you my skin routine because today I'm not wearing any makeup. All right, so let's start. The first thing that I do is I use the Sephora Serum, which I have been loving a lot it's actually been changing the way my skin texture feels and even the pigmentation adding uh the serum has really really helped my skin um here i am pressing it into the skin and yeah the next thing that i've been doing is adding eye cream to my routine i never really did this before but i feel like since i'm getting so close to being 30 um i might as well i need to start now here i am using the j roller because i feel like Using this product on my skin allows me to take more of the product into my skin and less into my hand. Next, I do the Sephora face cream, and I've been using these products since they sent it to me, but I genuinely have been loving it. Um, I quite, I'm quite generous with the um, amount of product that I use because I have such a big face, and it's actually really dry, so I try to make sure that I, um, I use enough. And you know, a little bit of the neck. Next, I'm showing you just the J-Roller that I'm using. Here I am putting the serum for my eyebrows that keep them dark and juicy. 
Next, I'm showing you how I'm cleaning my nose piercing because um, I changed it into a hoop and it's gotten a little bit sensitive. It doesn't hurt anymore, but it does look like it has a little keloid, so I'm trying to get rid of that and cleaning. The first thing I do over right here is a tea tree oil, you guys. I rub it on the inside and on the outside of the piercing. Next, I do witch hazelnut, witch hazel um, oil or water. I should say um, and same outside and on the inside of the nose all right today's a no makeup day you guys I decided to like kind of dress up a little bit I have a few errands to run taking Manolo to the vet. I'll tell you all the story of why I'm taking him to the vet um, in a bit, but let me just show you my look. Okay, so this is today's look. I have this trench coat from Target, this um, denim jacket from Fashion to Figure, the purse belt is from Fashion to Figure as well, and then I have this old navy tank top, um, my comfy ass Elaine Bryan jeans, which I got for $7. Um, and that's today's look and we're going to be taking Manolo around with me because I have an eye appointment and then he has a vet appointment so it's a running errands type of day oh and then my booties of course from uh rainbow that's today's look yeah let's go we're getting our eyes examined well I am now and then we're taking Manolo to the vet in a bit He's being a good boy. Right, Manolo? Manolo, why are you being a good boy? Manolo, give it to her. Good boy. Thank you. Manolo, please. No, 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 he doesn't bite. Manolo, you being nice? Ever. Yes. Are you the cutest ever? Are you looking at me? That's what I'm <laughs> oh, oh, he got nervous. Yeah, sorry. And it's okay. Oh, oh, he heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So cute. Oh, thank you. So we just finished with our eye exams. Um, we're not blind no more. <laughs> um, and we're just at Target because we have to wait for Monolo's appointment at three. So I'm gonna go pick up the some chips that they only sell here they're the the cheetos jalapeno ones they only i can only find them here at target so i come for them oh what is that so you have some splash margarita things my alcoholic not sister not alcoholic. also you don't want it anymore so don't even please oh good oh good se le hace agua el hígado a la cabrona por tomar no soy agüita de bark de bark is it Okay, let's go find my chips. So I was just coming by Target and we saw the, the Thayer's uh, facial toner, which hazel. Um, I actually use this to clean my nose piercing. And whenever I have a pimple, I kind of just dab it on it for like a few days and then it kind of cleans it out. And it, for at least for me, it takes away my pimple, so. That thing has a crush on her eye doctor. <laughs> She just saw him walk by. She was like, oh my god, he's so cute. And he really isn't, so <laughs> you gotta have a crush. <laughs> <laughs> you have a crush on your no, We walked in and her pants were done. She thought this was all with joy and she <laughs> forgot it was in my exam. <laughs> but then I made me buy his tea. Um, this is some guava tea shit, so. Okay, it's really good, actually. It's really good. Listen to me. I know. Ooh, she's so good. She's so good. Oh, 